the Manhattan Henge. Mm -hmm. Because you popularized the Manhattan Henge. Yeah. And now, every time the Manhattan Henge is a thing, there's a bunch of amateur photographers on 34th Street just out there with their completely phones. Completely blocking traffic. Completely blocking traffic. I, as a kid, when I was 15, I did research at Stonehenge in England with the guy who decoded it and discovered that it was an astronomical observatory, not some temple where the Druids sacrificed virgins, whatever. So I said, well, the least I could do for the city is just find the day of the year where it lines up with the street grid. Because as we know, all of Manhattan is an rectilinear grid, but rotated from true north, about 30 degrees. Sorry, rotated this way, from true north. So I said, let me just calculate that, take a picture of it and publish it. And that's what I did. So, the, so my first picture of this was published in January 2002, in a special issue of Natural History Magazine. And there it is, rising, exactly on the Manhattan grid, and it's Manhattan Henge. The buildings are the henges, and there's the sun lined with it. And I and and it started out real slow, and now there are thousands of people blocking traffic. And I ask you, if you had to have traffic blocked, isn't it best to be blocked by the cosmos itself? rather than by Con Ed digging a hole? That's my question to you. Whereas you get your traffic blocked uncountable numbers of times by uncountable numbers of other causes and effects. Let the universe has its own two damn days in the sun.